This episode of Hydro Show is sponsored by Hydro Mag, the UK's independent hydroponics magazine. In our official magazine, Hydro Mag, we often get questions from readers asking for help with their grow rooms. Well, last time Bill from Growing Age Technologies was in the UK, we asked him to answer some of these questions. Bill has over 30 years experience in hydroponics and has worked with all sorts of hydroponic projects including vegetable and orchid societies. So let's see how he answered a few of the Hydromag readers' questions. Do I need to keep my fans on all the time? It's pretty cold where I live so I don't really need them on to cool the room down but I'm thinking they might need to be on for air circulation. How do I work out accurately if my room has good air circulation? If you have good air cir circulation in your room, you're still going to have a buildup of humidity within the garden. So we need to go and have that air pulled out. Now we have again mentioned that we have good air circulation and good fans in there. We have not stated whether they're blowers to take the air out of the room or if they're oscillating fans that are pushing the air around within the room. What you, we do require for a good strong grow room is to have a fan that's pushing the air around the room because the simple fact is that you have a canopy of plant material, leaves and flowers and fruit. What ends up happening that becomes a block for the air movement. So the internal part of the plant could actually have stale carbon dioxide, high humidity levels and running into problems from this. So by having an oscillating fan blowing the air around the room, we're changing the air constantly within the plant's body. And the exhaust fans is gonna take this high humidity and stale air for lack of carbon dioxide and oxygen and remove it from the grow room, bringing in fresh air from outside with new CO2 and new oxygen for the plants to go and breathe. Do you want a nutrient that matches all the requirements of any plant you choose to grow? Well, let us introduce to you the aroma formula. So variable, it fits all the plants you want to grow indoors. Speed up plant growth. Increase yields. Trusted by the professionals. Results you can easily see for yourself. The aroma formula. Now available at all fine hydroponic shops. I'm a big fan of plain old traditional soil. Outdoors it is so easy to use, anyone can do it. I've never had much success with soil indoors though. Do you have any tips for growing with soil under a high pressure sodium lamp? If I was to switch to using a different medium, which do you think would be best for an old stick in the mud to pick up? When we do the transition from coming from outside, which nature looks after us, outside, you plant your seeds in the spring, or you take your shoots that you bought from your nursery and you put them into the soil. You allow them to grow. Now once you move the plants inside, we must play mother nature a little bit more. We must provide the proper amount of lighting so that the plants will not reach and stretch for the light. We must provide the proper temperatures and humidity in the room. By providing the proper temperatures and humidity and the light that the plants require in a good growing medium, the plants will flourish quite nicely. Here's a situation for you. You asked me what type of growing medium. All growing medium to me is, is to separate the roots from each other. The plants have evolved adjusting the pH of the growing medium to bring the nutrients into their easier form for the plant to consume. So what growing medium you choose is not really a big factor here. It's how you apply the water and the nutrients to that growing medium and the system that you incorporate it into. All good hydroponic systems have a reservoir, a volume of water that's below the growing chamber. And then you have the growing chamber, which is at least one inch above the height, maximum height of the water that's gonna be in your nutrient solution. Turn on a pump automatically water it, set your timer, automatically water it, and let the pump look after it. Please go down into your room quite often to check to see what's going on with your room to make sure that everything is working properly, your pumps are working, your fans are working, 
your light is actually turning on and off. I have a problem in my cellar where small black flies seem to appear out of nowhere. I haven't seen them on my plants, but I can't watch them all the time. Will these bugs cause me any issues? And if so, how should I fight them? Scary flies or fungus gnats are the same thing. What they look for is they look for rotting vegetation in the upper part of the growing chamber. Once they go and lay their eggs in there, their larva starts crawling through the growing medium consuming roots and dead organic material. And if they go get into your plants with a big infestation, what they will, can actually go and do is they can cut your roots off and not allow the plant to be able to pick up the necessary nutrients and water that they need to grow. Also, when roots start getting cut, what ends up happening, you leave an access point for diseases such as pythium to enter the plant and create a real problem for you. If you start to notice that your pH is dropping in your nutrient solution, this is the time to go and do corrective med medicine towards your pH. But also, what we need to do is get rid of the uh, scary flies or fungus gnats, and you're having problems noticing them. What you can also go and do is you can put yellow sticky, st sticky tape around the room, and they will be attracted to this tape. If, you're that, if you do not have access to that, what you might want to try is taking some very fruity wine and putting it into um, tall bottles with very narrow necks. These flies cannot fly in a straight line. They do go in different directions as they try and move to wherever they're going to go and land. So they will have a hard time coming up out of the top of the bottle and they will basically drown in the wine if, if they try to drink it. What a way to go, getting drunk and dying. This episode of Hydro Show is sponsored by Hydromag, the UK's independent hydroponics magazine.